Hey guys! So, you've probably heard of the global phenomenon that is Stranger Things. Transmission interrupted. Okay, sorry guys, I'm back. Something strange happened. I mean, look around! Well, looks like we're doing this tutorial from the upside down. Transmission connected. What if I told you that by watching this tutorial, you could make your very own Stranger Things style fight scene? Totally free. No budget, not spending a penny, <sighs> free. Well, you're in luck because that's exactly what we're doing today. For those of you who watch my channel regularly, thank you so much for your continued support. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I create tutorials on everything AI. I show you how to make things using AI for free, and if you ever decide to want to take that next step into paid tools, then there is the option to use my affiliate links and discount codes in the description to support the channel. But anyway, let's get into it. First, we need to plan out our fight scene. You can ask ChatGPT to generate a fight scene for you, but I already have an idea in mind. In this scene, our main character will be harnessing the power of a storm and fighting her enemy while her friends watch on. We'll then add dramatic Stranger Things style music in the background to really sell the atmosphere. Next, we need to think about the characters in the scene. If we're going for a Stranger Things vibe, then we're going to need the main character, the evil character she will be fighting, and her friends watching on. Now we need to think about the scenery. When you think Stranger Things, you think vines, red skies, spores, everything that exists in the upside down, right? Well, I'm going to show you how we can generate all of that to create our own upside down style environment. The tools we'll be using in this video are OpenArt AI to generate our characters and images, Grok Imagine for our video generation, and finally, DaVinci Resolve to put everything together. All of the links you need will be in the description below. First, we're going to head over to OpenArt AI. Sign up, then join their Discord to claim your free trial credits. When you click on the FAQ section, you'll see Click to Claim next to each reward. Just click those to collect your credits. Now that we have our credits, let's generate our main character. For my main character, I'm going to use myself. I'll upload my photo into the Omni reference and then type the following prompt. Recreate one of the scenes from Stranger Things set in the Upside Down, a vast apocalyptic environment characterized by a dark red, ominous color palette. The lady in the white top is standing with her legs parted, both hands raised and outstretched towards the camera. She is using her supernatural powers to stop a large volume of debris flying toward her. Her face is strained, but she also has a determined expression. She is wearing vintage clothing from the 1980s. Make it appear photo real with a cinematic composition and integrate flashes of the iconic red lightning in the dark, stormy sky. I'll set the aspect ratio to widescreen, set the number of images to one and hit create. Perfect. I really like this result, so I'm going to use it. Now, we're going to generate the evil character she'll be fighting. This time, I'll use the following prompt. Recreate one of the scenes from Stranger Things set in the Upside Down, a vast apocalyptic environment with a destroyed church, characterized by a dark red, ominous color palette. A demon-like figure is standing with his legs parted. His face is angry, but also determined. Make it appear photoreal with a cinematic composition and integrate flashes of the iconic red lightning in the dark, stormy sky. Keep all of the settings the same and hit create. All right, this looks good. It's a little cartoony, but I'm not complaining. This is our villain. Next, we're going to create the friends. Once again, we'll type in a new prompt. Recreate one of the scenes from Stranger Things set in the Upside Down, a vast apocalyptic environment with a destroyed building 
characterized by a dark red, ominous color palette. A teenage female with long dark hair, an adult male with a bob-style mullet, and a teenage male with frizzy hair are standing together. They are all wearing vintage clothing from the 1980s. Make it appear photoreal with a cinematic composition and integrate flashes of the iconic red lightning in the dark, stormy sky. Have the girl kneeling on the floor with the two males around her, the adult male's hand on her shoulder, asking if she is okay. The camera is positioned in front of them, facing them. Hit Create. Great. These will work perfectly as our reference images. Now, I'm going to take the image of myself again and upload it into the Omni reference. This time, I'll type the following prompt. She stands confidently with her hands by her side. Do not change anything from the reference image. Only adjust her pose to a confident stance with her hands at her side. Set the aspect ratio to widescreen and hit Create. Perfect! This is all we need at this stage. Any additional images we need will come from frames captured from the videos we're about to generate because we're creating this like a cinematic sequence. Now, let's head over to Grok Imagine. Once you're there, click on the paperclip icon and upload the image where she is standing confidently. This will be our opening scene. And then type the following prompt. As the camera slowly zooms in, she prepares for battle. She has seen the final boss and shifts from nervous to confident. This looks great, so we'll use it. Next, we'll upload the image of the demon and use this prompt. He walks forward confidently as lightning crashes in the background. The camera slowly zooms in on him in a cinematic shot. Now we'll upload the image of her standing with her hands by her side again and use this prompt. As the camera zooms in, she slowly lifts her arms. Rocks begin to rise from the ground as her powers start to reveal themselves. Now we need to take the image we created earlier where she is already using her powers. Upload that image and type the following prompt. She screams as telekinetic powers extend from her hands. Rubble and rocks float all around her as the wind sweeps through her hair. She is fighting with raw power. It's not the most detailed prompt, but let's see what we get. All right, <laughs> that actually works really well. So we're going to use this. Now, here's an important tip. Open the video you just generated in any video player that allows you to take screenshots. Take a snapshot of the last frame of the video. That final frame will now be used as the starting point for the next clip. Upload that snapshot back into Grok and use this prompt. The force is pushing her backward and she slides through the mud while keeping her stance. She then begins to push forward with more power slowly overpowering the force pushing against her. Her hair is blowing violently, and rocks and debris fly all around her as the environment crumbles. Preview the result. This is incredible. Now we're going to do the same thing with the demon. Open the demon's video, take a snapshot of the final frame, upload it to Grok, and use this prompt. The force is pushing him backward, he struggles to keep his stance and becomes increasingly angry before pushing forward with more power. He roars in rage as rocks and debris fly around him. He is fighting against everything. He is the villain. Now we go back to the video where she is pushing forward. Once again, take the final frame, upload it to Grok, and type she screams and thrusts her arms forward, overpowering the enemy. She is winning the battle with pure, raw power. This may feel repetitive, but trust me, when you see the final edit, it's worth it. Next, we do the same thing with the demon's final push. Take the last frame, upload it, and type. He tries to push forward one last time, but stumbles 
and begins to lose control. He is suddenly overpowered and thrown backward, flying through the air as if caught in a tornado. Now that our fight scene is complete, let's bring in the friends. Upload the image of the friends into Grok and use this prompt. The camera slowly zooms in as she stands up. Red lightning flashes across the sky as the storm continues to rage. That looks good. Once again, take the last frame of that clip, upload it, and use this prompt. The camera slowly zooms in close to their concerned faces as the storm continues around them. Perfect. Now it's time for music. Head over to Suno, sign up, and click Create. Suno offers free trial credits. In the prompt box, type, create an epic battle track that sounds like something you would hear in a Stranger Things scene, but is not Stranger Things. This will give you two generations. Listen to both and choose the one you like. Or, if you are like me, then I think I'm going to mix them together, as I think this will sound awesome. <sighs> okay. Once you've downloaded your tracks, it's time to edit. Open DaVinci Resolve and create a new project. Drag all of your generated clips into the timeline. Decide which clip you want to open with. For me, I start with the friends watching on. From here, the edit is completely down to preference and how you planned your fight scene. For my edit, I use lots of fast cuts and back and forth shots between the villain and the main character. The key is to let the music guide your cuts so the scene hits hard and feels cinematic. Once your timeline is complete, drag your playhead to the beginning and press I. Then drag it to the end and press O. Click Deliver. Select H264, name your file, and choose your save location. Set the format to MP4 and the codec to H264. Click Add to Render Queue, then hit Render. If you followed along, you should now have something that looks a little like this. Yep, I won. What can I say? I'm awesome. Anyways, please comment, like, and subscribe. I enjoyed creating this tutorial. It was a lot of fun and I will be doing more like this. But hey, if you wanna take the next step into AI music videos or filmmaking, check out my affiliate links in the description below and use the discount codes on screen. I create this content to help you continue creating your own content. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You are all awesome. Join my Discord, follow my socials, and stay up to date with everything I'm working on. And please, show me what you've created. I'd love to see it and help in any way I can. As always, this has been awesome. Thank you for coming to see me. I love you all, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.